Oh, another one. This one says, Welcome home. Whoa! This is it! This is where the Strays built their village! And what a beautiful place they chose! Just look at the sky! It is so big! It was a relief to finally feel the sun on my face and the gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. Along my journey I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seemed to be everywhere. If the legends were true, the stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet, they were making great progress. They invented crystal-powered machines, produced their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. How come they didn't use crystals in the village like that? Didn't they have any? They did have a few, but never used them. The villagers thought the crystals were sacred, that they were the source of life and shouldn't be fiddled with. Wait, didn't Fred use them? For his power cores, yes. I guess he was an exception. The strays, on the other hand, they mined crystals and used them for all sorts of machinery and decorations. They praised them too, just in another way. Hey. 
Hey, let's play a game. I bet that you can't get through this part without using the grapple device. <laughs> Told you you couldn't do it. Wear those? With this addition, the suit felt at least twenty per cent cooler. <laughs> this is awesome. It was awesome. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet, so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies, never fully in control but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it.
A great icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. be the strays. I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing. I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin. This is Ingo, and that's Tamia. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself, like this lamp. You made that? Awesome! I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there though, so I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye you guys. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that.
silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something.
Quickly! Grab a hold of that crate! Good day. Here's a bow to Ice King. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too, and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. 